Hey, Sharon. Sorry for the late reply. I've been busy catching up on all my emails and all my work, but uh, I've been home this weekend, so I want to spend the extra time and instead for the weekly update this week, do a, a video review going through all the videos that you sent for August. Um, so I got it pulled up here. We'll start with this August 13th and then go all the way up through the most recent stuff you have. Uh, so this one's the bench for sets eight. Um, the first thing I noticed is, uh, I'm sure you're just using it just because it's in the gym, but I would recommend not ever trying to use these in comp these shoes in competition. Just like the way that they're built with the uh, curve up in the back, it always looks like the heel's off in the ground. And anyone who like kind of wears those kind of shoes in competition usually gets called for like the heels being up or not getting a start command. Um, so I would just recommend not using those. Um, for bench, uh, a lot of the pauses look good. So one or two look quick. So just make sure you're pausing long enough on all of them. Um, other than that, for the, the sets of eight, um, it was just the shoes and just making sure the pause is good. Other than that, the, the leg drive was good and the uh, bar path looked good. Um, it looked like maybe you, had, maybe you had another rep in the tank as well. So that's good. Saving some energy for the uh, heavier benches later in the week. Um, but overall, this looks pretty solid. Just um, some elbow stuff that we still have to work on, and I think some wrist stuff we have to work on. But those are better to see in some of the other videos. So I'll wait till we get to the other bench video from the other angle. Um, but overall, these sets of eight were pretty solid. So we'll go to next vi next videos are the squats. This uh, first rep of the squat was was really good. It's basically as as good as your squat can be. So that's the kind of squat you want to try and do every time. So if we kind of stop in different areas, so your depth is good, and the bar is basically right over your foot, and the bar basically goes straight up from there too. So it's here. And it basically goes straight up and then a little bit back at the end. So that's like one of the best squat reps I've ever seen from you. So try and mimic that every time. Whatever you did there, however it felt. The rest of them look pretty good too. Just they kind of go a little bit forward like right there. Um, just the timing of the bounce. Um, that one was a little bit better. Um, but that first one was, was great. And these next ones, um, it's just making sure that you hit the right depth and you kind of stay tight so when you bounce out of the bottom the bar goes up rather than throwing you forward but other than that depth look good um, the reps look good um, I can see you're driving your elbows down right there so you're doing good on driving the elbows down trying to keep the chest up that sounds pretty solid uh, let's see how the deadlifts look Thing for these deadlifts for sets of eight they looked really good um, starting position was good um, you got the strong lockout you can see you really lock your knees out and then shoot the hips through um, back and head are in a good position and the bar path is pretty much straight up so all around your sets of eight for all three lifts were really solid deadlifts were the best um, Squat and bench is just those little things to continue to work on, um, making sure you're staying tight in the hole on the squat so that the bounce doesn't throw you forward, and making sure you're just doing quality pauses on all your bench reps. Now let's go to the heavier lifts. So depth was good there, and then the bar path was also good on that one. So again, your first rep was really good. Second one now was really good too. It was better than the second rep of the sets of eight. That one was pretty solid too. So another good squat day here, sets of four. That last one, that fourth rep was the only one that a three or four a little bit. The first three were good on depth and bar path and, and staying tight. Um, let's take a look at bench press. I think this one shows a good angle. Um, yeah, so this is what I want to see is with this angle, you can see your shoulders in good position, your elbows directly above it. Your wrist is directly above it, but then the bar is here to the right. So 
everything here is good, but the bar is in a bad position. So we want the bar also in this in this line right here, this vertical line. So there's two ways you can try and fix it. One would be to try and put the bar lower in your palm. So if you had the bar here, then you can have it in line. Or the other thing is try and get the wrist straighter and pointed straight up. So you can get the, the bar in line by bringing the wrist up. That way everything's directly in a straight line at the top and you want to match that also at the bottom. So when you're pressing, all this force from your chest and your triceps and everything are pushing straight into the bar and pushing straight up. If it's pushing this way to the right, then you're losing some of the energy going to the right and then some of the energy is going to push the bar straight up. So you're actually not as efficient here. So that's what I want to show from this angle and with these shoes you can see that the heels are no problem so these shoes are, are great for benching. So same thing in this bottom position you can't see it as well but you got your form bent back a little bit and then your wrist also bent back a little bit. So now the bar is like somewhere all the way over here when you want to have the bar closer to being uh, vertical. So people talk about stacking everything um, in the bottom position so you want the uh, wrist stacked over the elbow and the bar stacked over the wrist in this bottom position so that's why I've been trying to get you to bring your elbow out a little bit more so that you're more in this position and then if you get your wrist straight then the wrist will bring will be straight too and then everything will be stacked so when you press off the bottom you're pressing everything up and you're not losing any energy and the bar being bent back and your wrist towards the right Other than that, the pauses look good. Um, the bar path still looks pretty solid. Going back towards the rack. So that was a pretty good set. Just getting that wrist position um, better. And maybe that will actually fix some of the elbow position as well. Um, let's see. Deadlifts. I think these look pretty solid too from what I remember. Yeah, those kind of like the sets of eight where you're pretty explosive off the ground and then the powerful lockout. Um, can't see bar path as well from here, but it looks like it should be just as fine um, as the sets of eight. So everything good here for deadlifts. So that was the 18th. So we'll go into this next week here with the sets of six on squats. So another good squat session, good depth there, um, good bar path. You can see you're driving the elbows down. So very similar to the previous week um, where everything looks pretty solid. You're really fighting from fighting that bar going forward. So that was a good rep right there. That one went forward maybe just a little bit. Let's see this last one. And that went forward just maybe a little bit, but overall pretty solid. Let's take a look at bench press for this week. So for this one, again, you can kind of see how much of the elbows are tucked and how the bars all the over here. And so again, working on trying to get the elbows out a little bit more to the sides and fix that wrist position. When you fix, fix the wrist position, it'll actually bring the bar this way a little bit. And then when you fix the elbow position, it'll bring the elbow this way a little bit. So then you'll get it more stacked and get it more in a vertical position that we want it. Pauses look good. Um, same thing about the shoes. The other shoes are better. Um, but everything seemed to move fairly well. So, pretty pretty solid set there. Let's see how deadlifts looked. These deadlifts look good too. Again, more starts here and pretty much ends right above it. Back and head are in a good position. You got that strong lockout, lock out the knees and then pushing the hips through. So deadlifts are looking really good lately. Um, hopefully we can build those back up since they were lagging behind a little bit. All right, well, 
let's move to your heavy stuff uh starting with this deadlift i think this is the one where the first rep you got a little aggressive with dropping your hips and you kind of hit the bar forward yeah right there so you were just a little too aggressive with how with dropping your hips and it seemed like you started with the bar maybe a little bit too forward so actually here the bar is like too far forward over your toes and then your shoulders are too far back and so that's why you had the little weird little hiccup right there where the bar kind of like shook and your body actually like shook so here the bar rolls forward and back and then for your body right there so it was just a little weird as far as your timing was off and uh, the bar was a little too forward so when you dropped the hips and pulled you weren't in the right position and that repped you off so you just want to make sure you're in the right position with the bar over the middle of your foot and make sure you time everything so then this next rep was perfect um, because you didn't do the dropping of the hips and the bar was in the correct position so then these next reps were much better um, but obviously in the competition you're doing the first rep so you just want to make sure you're practicing that first rep being in that same position that you are in for the next reps so this is the position you want to be in so shoulders head and butt are all a nice straight line Sh uh, I mean hips are higher than the knees and shoulders are higher than the hips and then the shoulders are over the bar and you see your arm angles back slightly and you can't tell but the bar is more over your middle foot right here that's the starting position you want to be versus over here you can see that the shoulders are behind the bar and the arms are vertical and you're trying to lean back a little too much so then when you lean back you're pushing the bar forward um, as far as the back and everything is still straight in a good position it's just that we need to bring everything over to the right a little bit to uh, match this right here all right let's go to oh that was it let's see what this one looked like So that was from the front, but it looked much better. Um, so could have just been just that one rep that was off. So overall, the deadlifts have looked really solid. You just want to make sure you get in that correct starting position in the first rep. Um, bench is just focusing on getting that wrist position, either getting the bar lower in the palms or getting the wrist straighter. Um, and then eventually working on getting the elbows out more. And then squat depth is looking good. Bar path is looking good. It's just maintaining that tightness and driving those elbows down so that you can uh, fight the bar throwing you forward. So that was uh, week two and week three. Everything looked solid. It looked like you had a little bit more in the tank. So you shouldn't have a problem with these sets of five here with more weight than week three. Um, same thing here. Shouldn't have a problem with these uh, sets of five with more weight than week three. And then here we're doing a little bit higher rep work. Um, so here you had your fours um, and there were no issue here and here. So you should be able to do more weight here and here. And same thing here, we're going up in weight a little bit. So you should have no, no problem progressing in your weight from week two to week four. Um, continue to work on that technique stuff. And then uh, we'll go into the next block. I'll start working on it now for you. Um, since we don't really have a competition or anything coming up, I'll just we'll just keep uh, staying with these kind of numbers, five, sixes, eights, and kind of progressing the weight and seeing what we can uh, push it to. All right, hope that helps.